Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from a database that has all of the FASTQ files for the American Gut Project and do an analysis of microbiome samples from two different individuals. So the first thing we're going to do in order to create this Unit 2 project workflow is we're going to start on the database that stores biosamples. This database allows you to search for samples that were taken under specific conditions and is going to enable us to find two microbiome samples, FASTQ files from two microbiome samples that we can make a comparison for the Unit 2 project. So the website is called NCBI Biosample. Um, just like other NCBI resources, you can go to the NCBI homepage and select Biosample from the pull-down menu. And I want to show you the two samples I selected. So you can see some of the survey questions that are asked when people submit a stool sample to the American Gut Project. Um, so this is a sample that was taken on March 29th, 2014 from a four-year-old child, a four-year-old male child who's left-handed and lives in a dense settlement biome. There's lots of questions in this survey. I have varied the age between my two samples, and I'd like everyone in the class to pick some other question, not age, to vary between their two samples. So you can look if an individual is allergic to peanuts or not allergic to peanuts. You can see here this person is allergic to peanuts false, so they don't have a peanut allergy. You could look at if they've had chicken pox, what their drinking water source is. You can look for whether or not they've had flu vaccines, um, if they have a dog, if they have migraines, there's so many questions. Your first part of the project is just picking which of these variables you would like to examine. Once you've looked at the survey questions, in order to find your sample, you're going to type the first couple letters that are associated with every gut microbiome um, biosample that is uploaded to NCBI. So um, CHIME, Q-I-I-M-E, is a common tool that we use for microbiome analysis. And Q-I-I-T-A, CHITA, is a tool that's used for microbiome analysis by the American Gut Project. So this Q-I-I-T underscore S-I-D is a great search term to make sure that any samples you get will be American Gut Project samples. And then in quotes, you can put whatever survey question you want to look up. So I would go to the biosamples for the two samples I have in Galaxy. You can get them by copying this ERS number and pasting it into biosamples. So you can open up my sample. And then to do a search, search for that keyword cheetah with a copy of the question in quotes. So I'm going to look for a really simple yes or no question. I'm going to look at does the person have a dog or not have a dog. Um, this dog false is the search term I'm going to use. I'm going to copy it directly from a survey, paste it in quotes. And now I'll get lots of results. I got 8,256 people that don't have a dog. Um, and I can click on any of them and I'll be able to see more information about them. So if I wanna compare someone with a dog and without a dog, I think at a minimum, you wanna see, are they the same age? So you'd wanna pick two people in their 20s with a dog, without a dog, two people in their 30s with a dog or without a dog. And you can verify when you click on the search results, that this person does not have a dog. Once you've searched for someone that doesn't have a dog, you repeat the search, Q-I-I-T-A, dog, space, true. And now if I click on one of these survey questions, I should find someone who when they filled out their survey indicated that they do have a dog. That's the first step of the project, finding the two people that you wanna compare. 
once you find those two people, we're going to go from this survey question to the short read archive to get the code for the FASTQ file. So you can see here, this is a description of the experiment. Um, the sequencing was done on an aluminum iSeq. And this number is the link to import the FASTQ file. So now I can go to Galaxy and get data, download and extract reads in FASTQ format from NCBI SRA. And I'm going to paste in that accession number, ERR. And then I want it to come in as a compressed FASTQ file and click execute. I've already done that twice in my history. You can see I've imported the FASTQ file for a four-year-old child and a 38-year-old man. And then the next step is to run the FASTQC report. When you run the FASTQC report, you'll probably see that the quality is really good. But for step two of the project, I still want you to try Trimomatic, see if you can improve the quality of your samples a little bit. And then the last thing you have to do for this week is try to filter the reads so you get them to the same size. So steps 33 and 36 in my history are the result of multiple rounds of filtering. And what I was trying to do in these filters is get it to be close to the same number of samples. So now the child file has 16,922 reads. The adult file has 16,384 reads. And when I run the analysis next week, I'll be able to compare these more closely because if there's a greater number of species in one of the sample, it won't be because it has more reads, it will be because it actually is a more diverse sample. So it's everything you need to do for week one of the unit two project. Find survey results for people who differ on one survey question, import the FASTQ files into Galaxy, trim the FASTQ files and run FASTQC reports, filter the FASTQC, FASTQ files and run FASTQC reports. Let me know if you have any questions as you work through these project steps.